So you expect me to believe that God came, wrapped himself in a body, had a mommy and had to potty sometimes, learned his ABCs and his one, two, threes, yet simultaneously somehow divine. You expect me to believe the same one who put stars in the heavens had half brethren and one of them's Jude. And throughout his childhood, he did nothing but good and never sinned when they got into feuds. You expect me to believe <laughs> that through his puberty and teenage years that each peer towards a woman was pure? Can these manuscripts be trusted if they say he never lusted not once? I mean, dog, are you sure? You expect me to blindly receive these stories, to praise them and give them glory. And I hear you, but sometimes I don't know. Because it sounds just too good to be true. I don't know if it does to you, but if it doesn't, is there proof you could show? Well, see, I believe in a God who created everything. The moon and the stars, Jupiter, Mars, and galaxies you couldn't view from afar. Billions of light years beyond our farthest telescope's reach. I believe he made it all and it speaks to his power. Let's rewind. Go back in time to the Big Bang. See, something had to cause that thing. And it was God, because to make space, matter, personality, and time it'd be a timeless, immaterial, or spiritual mind. It's real powerful. And that there is what Christians call divine. So since nothing comes from nothing, and we know this is true, we know that something made everything, including us too. And that God who made everything has written his laws on our hearts. We transgressed them and we've broken them all. And whenever you break laws, there's a price to pay, but not a ticket or a fine. We're talking about divine. When you rebel against his throne, you say that hell is what you want. With middle fingers to the heavens, you are telling him it's own. And that's wrong. We deserve to pay. So out of love, that God came to his earth to save. And when he came... Yeah, he learned his one, two, threes. So he could count your transgressions when he died on that tree. And yes, he had a half brother and a mother named Mary. And Mary saw that big cross that he told it for Jerry. And just to show he's not like any other person that's alive, would your mother and your brother ever worship you as God? I mean, really, would your mother ever call you creator? And would your brother give his life to show the world you're the savior? Kind of doubt it. But Jesus, every moment was pure. Jesus didn't die for his sins. He was dying for yours. Now, Jesus didn't die for his sins. He was dying for yours. And I'm sure. <laughs>